Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding duplicate job listings using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in LinkedIn interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume that you are given a table below that shows job postings for all the companies on the LinkedIn platform write a query to get the number of companies that have posted duplicate job listings okay and here is a clarification or basically additional information about this question that duplicate job listings refer to two jobs at the same company with the same title and description so same company same job title and same description if it is there then it is a duplicate job listing so the job listings table has four different columns, job ID, company ID, title and description. And here is an example. So here, if you look at it, right? So if you look at a uh, company ID, let's say, okay. So company ID 345. So company ID 345, this is the job title, data analyst, data analyst. And if you look at the description, it is exactly the same, right? However, if you look at all other, so this is one unique posting. This is another unique posting, another unique posting posting right why is these two unique postings because even if you have same job title and description the company id is different right so basically different companies have posted this so it is not posted by same company okay so that means how many total companies have posted more than one or basically duplicate job listings one right 345 so that is what we have in the output now basically to do this what we need to do is from this table called job listings if we group by the company id title and description and count the number of job ids right so it is basically going to give you the number of unique postings by a company id for a particular title and description right so what we can do is from this job listings let's group by right let's group by the company id right and then by title and description however one thing to remember is whenever there are texts involved right so it is possible that you know someone who might be you know copying it copying pasting or sometimes you know writing this stuff so it is possible that you know there are some errors in the cases that means like some in some of the description it can be in a duplicate one that you know b is uh, small and u is capital and all that so in to avoid those kind of problems what we usually do is we convert the entire text into one case either lower or upper does not matter right and then we should you know move ahead in any of the questions whenever text is involved right so until and unless it is said that you know uh, lower case and upper case means different things right so we write lower of the column title and then lower of the column description right so once we have this so it will what will this do from this table called job listings group by the company id lower title and lower description and then how we are only required to keep those rows where the count of distinct job ids is greater than one because if it is equal to one that means it is a unique posting by your company id for that particular job title and description right so since we are filtering based on an aggregate value we cannot use where here we can use having so we write having and then the count of distinct job id greater than one right uh, let, let's return this right so let's return this copy this here uh, paste it here and let's say we also count the distinct job id right so if i write count of this is not required i'm just you know demonstrating here so job id and let's alias this as number of duplicates right so number of duplicates let me run this okay so now if you look at it right so for this company for this particular job title and description there are two job posting right exact same thing and there in total there are three different companies so what we can do is we can store this entire thing in a common table expression right so we can write with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then what we can do is from this common table expression all we need to do is we count the 
number of distinct company ids right why we are uh, counting number of distinct company ids and not only the company ids you might be you know thinking that once we grouped by here right so this this is going to be unique values right but think of a case maybe this company id not only posted for software engineer and this description duplicate job but also for let's say data analyst right so in this question it says count the right query to get the number of companies that have posted duplicate job listings right so in that case those two won't be counted as different right so that is what we need to do so from this common table expression let's count the number of distinct company id and let's alias this as whatever is required in our output so it is uh, this one so this text let's copy this here instead of you know just typing it out okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this so now we have the output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, accepted and this is how we do it. Again, not a difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, from the job listings table, we grouped by the company ID, title and description because that is how a duplicate job listing is defined in the question. And then we made sure that we are only keeping those rows where the count of the distinct job ID is greater than one. That means it is duplicate, right? And then once we have that, we save that in a common table expression. And then from that common table expression, we just counted the number of distinct company IDs for the reason that I described earlier and alias did whatever was required in the output so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video